Hey there, it is Rachel. And one of the things that I love to do for parents is suggest phrases to use and not to use to make situations go better in the moment. And I will tell you that I give this advice all the time. And one of the words that I suggest parents stop using is a word that we use almost every day with our kids. And it has unintended consequences. It actually makes kids feel worse and it makes them act worse. And that word is but. What we often do with our kids is we try to show them that we do care about what they're going through. We'll say something like, I know you wanted to watch that movie. And then we'll add the word but. I know you wanted to watch that movie, but you can't. Or I know you hate brushing your teeth, but you have to do it anyway. Or your brother did say something mean to you first, but that's not an excuse to say something mean back. We're trying to teach our kids that what is okay and what isn't okay. Unfortunately, the word but really shuts them off. As soon as they hear but, you're basically undoing what you just said. So you were trying to see them and you're undoing that. As soon as they hear the but, they shut down and they don't hear what you're saying in the second half of the sentence. And that's what you really want them to hear, right? You want them to hear that they have to brush their teeth, that you can't, they can't watch the movie, that they can't treat their brother like that. They don't hear you when you use the word but. And here's what I will tell you, and deep down you already know this, they know what they're supposed to be doing. They know they can't watch the movie. They know they have to brush their teeth. They know they're supposed to be nicer to their brother. So it's not that we have to insist. What I want you to do instead then is to replace the word but with the word so. Saying something like, I know you wanted to watch that movie, so let's plan a time next week when we can watch it. Or, I know you hate brushing your teeth, so let's try to make this more interesting. Why don't you brush your teeth while you're standing on one foot? Or, your brother did say something mean to you first, so when he does that, tell him you don't like it or walk away. What we're doing when we're replacing the word but with the word so is we're respecting what they're going through and teaching them how to follow the limit anyway. We're actually giving them strategies to help them be successful. In this way, we're respecting them and we're teaching them. And that's really what they need to feel and do better. So again, replace that word but with the word so and teach them how to do what you ask. If you want to hear a little bit more about how to make sure your child feels seen so that they can feel and act better, I have a free resource for you. You can find it on my website at rachel-bailey.com forward slash significance. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you again soon.